So it's been a few weeks since my last YouTube video. I think we need a catch up. Nothing has been going well. Should we start with the least bad things? So my truck broke down. Um, secondly, uh, we're in a drought, really bad drought. Look at my grass. My grass, my grass, my grass. This is our grass. This is like, um, this is hay aftermath. So this should be, by now, this time of year, probably four inches tall, thick, green, lush grass. This is what we have. Looks quite good from a distance. Absolutely nothing there. It's been the driest July in Kent since 1974 or 76, whenever the real bad drought was. This is bad, this is getting really bad. So, what are we doing about it? Um, don't really know what to do. Um, we've kind of just been praying on rain and you look at the clouds, we've had one or two days like this and you think, it's gonna rain, but it's not, it's not raining at all. Um, so, uh, how to manage it, that's the big question. Don't really know. It's sort of uncharted territory for me. Uh, we had a pretty bad drought two years ago and we had to sell a lot of our ewes. This year I'm gonna sell a lot of lambs. I'm trying to, but the price has fallen away for the lambs, so not really sure what to do, but everything's struggling a little bit. And uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to do about it. We've um, been out feeding some hay. Uh We've also been feeding sheep food, like bagged food. But it's now 12 pounds a bag. Uh, we also put some of those like feed blocks out. But Chris licks licks out. Uh. We've put minerals down. It's a free access mineral. It's got like salt and minerals and all that sort of stuff for them. We're doing whatever we can to keep them alive. Uh oh. This is painful to watch, darling. The third thing that happened was something really, really tragic. It was the worst thing that's ever happened to me as a farmer. So, um, to paint the picture, we've been doing worm samples in our poo. So we've been doing fecal egg counts, see how much, how big a worm burden our sheep have got and trying to worm appropriately. There's two reasons we've been doing this. Number one is, a lot of the worms we use that kill the worms actually kill a lot of the wildlife and stuff around us and we've been really getting into dung beetles and we've got some really cool ones on our farm like this guy and they're the sort of thing that we're trying to protect so we're trying to target our um, usage of wormers pretty much uh, secondly there's a massive resistance to wormers now so if we don't start limiting the amount we use them instead of just blanket worming everything then we're going to get some really big problems in the future so our wormers work we want to keep them working a couple of weeks ago we had a couple die <clears throat> and that wouldn't be unusual we were in really really extreme conditions we breed coal ewes uh, they've got lambs pulling away on them sheep don't need an excuse to die at the best of times they die when the wind changes we didn't think a lot of it and then over the next few days we had maybe one die a day well, this is getting a bit much now. This is this is very unusual. So I started looking around thinking, well, perhaps they've got a homuncus worm. It's a worm that you get during dry periods. Um, it's a really nasty one. It tends to, it sucks their blood. So they get very anemic in their eyes and gums. Um, they get thin and all that sort of stuff. So we did another poo sample and send that off. And in the meantime, we got them in for shearing. 
when we got him in for shearing, wasn't happy. It was a lot of lean sheep. There was a few very lethargic. I thought this ain't right. So we waited for poo samples uh, to come back. And I was like, I really, really don't want to worm the sheep because we've come this far. We're trying to do the right thing. Let's just wait for the poo sample to come back. So we waited and waited and it didn't come. And the poo sample actually got lost in the post and I've still not had the results. After that, I thought this is not right. I'm just gonna get the wormer. We, you know, we've got sheep dropping dead everywhere. I can't cope with it. So I ordered it. Then I caught COVID. And there was about four days where I couldn't do anything, especially not go out and worm nearly 500 sheep. I just didn't have it in me. I <clears throat> couldn't really ask many people. There weren't a lot of people around to help because they'd all started harvest and haymaking. Do you see how this is brewing into the perfect storm? So we just had to sort of sit on it for four days. For four days, we lost more sheep in those four days than I've lost in about two years. Um, it was just horrendous. It was just people ringing me up saying the sheep were dead. Um, we were having to go out, literally then go back to bed. It was just the worst thing that's ever happened to me. So after the four days, we got them all in and managed to worm them. And just then they were showing real clinical signs of homunculus. So they were very, very like anemic in the eyes there. It's just got no colour. No. no blood vessels in there, you see? A couple of them had like the wattle jaw, wattle jaw, bottle jaw. I don't know what you call it, but like a, like a wattle. <laughs> <laughs> and genuinely looked quite bad so we got it really late and uh, it was really frustrating it happened very very quickly so like I said we lost about 20 ewes and it was all my fault and the most frustrating thing is all these things happen in life that you can't do anything about the weather um, all that sort of stuff and that is something I could do something about and not only that it wasn't for being lazy because to worm them for homunculus costs about 10 or 12 pence per sheep. So um, it's really, really, really cheap to use. But we were just trying to do the right thing. Going forward, we're going to work with our vets a lot more about strategic times to test for do the poo samples because we were just sort of doing it a bit sporadically. Also, just, just having a better plan of how many we test and how often we test. It is a big lesson learned. I'm never gonna let it happen again. The sheep have um, recovered, mainly recovered. They're trying to recover, but obviously, look at us. So yeah, I just never wanna go through that again. Look out for homunculus in the summer because it can be absolutely devastating. Absolutely devastating. Thanks for watching my YouTube. Massive lesson to be learned. Don't forget to subscribe.